Fish Tank people, FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tank's trying to bring it to you on a Tuesday. Just got done with a little networking event where they were talking about social media and using YouTube. You should have heard me in that conversation. I was blowing it up. People were talking and I was just like, yeah, you don't know, squat. The lady that was talking had one YouTube subscriber. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying, you better listen up. So that was a fun thing. Anyway, here's what's up. So you all made it possible, so thank you for watching. Here's what's the deal. The deal is this. Uh, I just want to talk about what is going down with the uh, tanks and kind of what's been happening. You'll look over here, you'll see a little bit of Jungle Val that's taken off. This is Jungle Val that I got straight up out of Lake Erie. Um, put it in this tank and it's thriving. So, um, didn't even melt. So it shows you how hardy it is. I'm real happy about that. Um, I think that's good stuff. Well established tank with the good dirt substrate. I've got the Crips that I, uh, I think these are my Oya Crips, I don't know, someone's probably going to correct me and make a big stink because I don't know the exact species name, but whatever. The Crips are looking sweet, those Crips are looking sweet. The Shane Church, I give, me the, I give Dustin the wrong address, Anubius, uh, Anubius is doing well. Uh, also the Rotella I got from my dude Steve is doing well, although the Sonator is bright a light. I could hit it with a little iron, make it a little more red. Taiwan plant, very sexy as well. And then uh, back here I want to show, I also put the big bubbling uh, sponge in there. And I think the fish really like having a lot of extra oxygen, and I don't think the plants care. Some of you will disagree with me on that. Whatever. Proof's in the pudding. The plants look all right. And I caught a lot of heat for saying that snails eat poop. I'm suggesting that if snails do or don't eat poop, first of all, some, every poop's different. For all we know, they could eat fish waste that was highly you know, filled with vegetable matter or some other stuff that's meat, and they won't eat it. So I don't know. Whatever. My point with the freaking... Uh, thing was that fish, or excuse me, snails and other bacteria and small stuff at the bottom, I'm not getting too technical, if you want me to, I will, um, basically eat all the leftover fish food and like just stuff that falls off and the extra fish food and what have you, and they're a beneficial part of it, so don't read too deeply in it, I'm trying to stay big picture here, people, you can come in with the details if you want. So yeah, look at the uh, Sagittaria chinensis. I'm surprised this stuff hasn't sold. It's actually really well. I am out of um, Sagittaria sublata. Those went out today, or dwarf sag as it's called. But I really am liking this tank. I'm thinking about doing a big Crips tank and then using this uh, this sag, just doing a ton of it. Um, but I want to talk about also these Crips up here um, doing really well. They take a little while to get kind of acclimated, but they're doing good. I'm still not going to sell them yet because I like them. So they aren't for sale. I never have offered uh, the Madagascar lace plants, but apparently uh, I can get them though. If you guys want them, let me know. I'm not selling these ones though. I actually was thinking about taking this plant right here and having a drawing guy draw it like up on a white t-shirt, which brings me to the good news. Y'all have been waiting for it. Now it's time. The fishtanktv.com t-shirts are coming. They should be here in about two weeks. I'm only doing a small run. I'm only getting larges and XLs. I haven't figured out the price yet because I don't have the price yet. But I'm definitely, definitely, definitely getting Fish Tank TV logo across the chest, white shirt, nothing crazy. Uh, after a while, we're going to get crazier with the t-shirts. But for now, we got to get some t-shirts and some people that deserve some t-shirts. You know who you are. So that's exciting stuff. And then I want to talk about something that sucks. And it's this tank. This tank sucks. And I think, I think, I think, I think I have figured out why. And I want people who have used EcoComplete with me to chime in. This tank uses dirt. Uh, dirt, clay, I used a little bit of fluoride in it. And I think the problem is in the dirt and the mixing of the EcoComplete. Please chime in if you've used dirt EcoComplete successfully. I would love to hear it. I think that the EcoComplete contains something that maybe either reacts or gives too much nutrients or something in the dirt mixes with the EcoComplete that hurts the roots. And here's why I'm theorizing on this. God, I hate showing this tank because it looks so terrible. You'll notice that everything is melted. I put a ton of freaking Jungle Val in here and it's all withering away. It's actually coming back though. You can see that little piece there and that little piece there. But it's definitely like it melted. Like the other tank I put it in it did fine. So I'm going to tear this tank down. But Here's why I'm hypothesizing this, and I'm open to suggestions. Ben, my young man, has been telling me all kinds of good stuff. Um, the reason I think it is this. The ferns are doing fine because their roots don't go way down into the substrate. So that fern back there is fine. That fern back there is fine. They're not thriving, but they're not dying and withering like crazy like the other stuff is. So I'm going to redo these. I'm debating doing the double dirt. And yes, the mono and mono tank is coming. 
Not Dustin's design versus Takashi Amano. Some of y'all have been having that twisted. The mono we mono tank is to put my dirt, not that dirt, but dirt done this way or this way, um, versus Takashi Amano's Amano soil. So I'm curious to see how that is going to work toe to toe. A um, couple of cherry shrimp up here. Uh, check them out. They're loving it. So that's kind of a little uh, thing, and I'll give you a little update. I'm out of a light bulb in there. But I've got too much light over here, so I got a little bit of a uh, little bit of algae going, but I don't care. So um, that's what's up. Appreciate all the uh, new subscribers, the feedback, the comments. Um, if you're gonna message me, try to message me on FishTankTV.com. That way, I can see our back and forth conversations. Because if you message me on YouTube and I reply, and then you reply, I can't see what we talked about before. So I'm just gonna keep asking you stupid questions that I've already possibly answered. And check out that rainbow. Just freaking dominating. And there's this girl. I also have an update on the Epistos. Um, I'm going to post a picture of it to my uh, Fish Tank TV profile. I want to show where the uh, Epistos are breeding at my boy Keith's house. They haven't bred yet, but they're definitely acting like they're breeding. So that's what's going on. Good jungle valve growth over here. A little algae happening over here. It's because that light is new and it's too much light. But um, yeah, it's what we're doing. We're having a lot of fun. So uh, I don't know. Loving the YouTube channel, loving all the subscribers, friends, people that make comments, people that comment on other people's comments. It's a lot of fun. So it felt good today talking about the YouTube channel and people. And I told them, I was like, if you're into fish, my channel ain't for you. But if you're into fish, check it out. So um, we'll just keep doing it. That's it. Oh, and this jungle valve did okay too in this tank. So it didn't melt. So I'm thinking it's the, uh, the something bad in the Eco Complete. Let me know on this Eco Complete in the dirt thing. Somebody else has talked about it before, so just uh, hit me up. We'll we'll talk through it later.